Hi friends, it's me Keely, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm really excited to welcome you to Basecamp today. We hope your time in Basecamp sparks great conversations together throughout the whole week. This month, we've been talking about how we can go God's way because God's way is perfect. And when we aren't sure what to do, we can trust God and go his way. And when we want to do things our own way, we can trust that God's way is better. Even when something seems hard, we can trust that God's way is perfect. And this week, we're going to hear a true story from the Bible about someone who trusted God even when it was hard. But before we go to the clubhouse to see Ollie and our clubhouse friends and hear our awesome true Bible story, we're going to do one of my favorite things together, and that is worship God. So go ahead and stand up. We're going to sing and dance and praise our awesome, perfect God. God, you are the Plan for me. He's got a 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 plan for me. He's got a
me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Ribbit! 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 Oh, hi friends! I'm Zoe! And I'm so happy to see you today. It rained last night and I just had the best time jumping in puddles pretending I'm a frog! It's just... the puddles were muddy. Really muddy. And my boots got muddy too! My dad says I have to clean them up by myself! This is going to be really hard. I'm never going to be able to do this. Ho! Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho! Ho! Cleaning a muddy mess, are you? Hi, Ollie. It's going to be so hard, I don't know if I can do it. Doing the right thing can be hard. It's true. I've got just the Bible story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <sighs> Whew, that's the last one. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project and we need lots of bricks. Hmm, can you count them with me as I put them away? All right, here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> How many is that? Two. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> oh, no. How many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our story today. If you want to help me build it. Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin and it hurt really bad. There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, 
a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. Do you know what? Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember, God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump, and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And look, his spots are gone! <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too! <laughs> Way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman! <laughs> it was hard, but you did it, and now you're all better! See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. And it's all true. Naaman did a hard thing. And we can follow God's way, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Naaman had to do something really hard, but he did it because he trusted that God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. This is going to be really hard. But my dad told me to do it, so I will. I wonder if I have to scrub my boots seven times. One. Two. Three. Wow, wasn't that a great story? Naaman did a hard thing, but he trusted God. Sometimes following God's way is hard, but this story reminds us that God's way is perfect. So before we go, let's practice our memory verse together. Are you ready? God's way is perfect. Samuel 22, 31. That was awesome, friends. Before we go, I'd love to pray for us. Let's talk to God together. Dear God, you are so wonderful. Thank you that your way is perfect. It is the best way. Please help us to go your way even when it's hard and to trust you. We love you, amen. Well, thanks so much again for joining us in Basecamp, friends. I'm already looking forward to the next time. See you then.